Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley K. Jones. I'm a writer, teacher, and author tuber, and today we are finally getting to a book wrap up. It has been a hot second since we have done a reading wrap up for the month of November. So this fall, my reading list just kind of fell off the wayside, just kind of went away. I was working on revision and then getting back in the swing of school. And so reading just did not happen this fall until about November. Um, I've actually was reading The Cousins. It did take me a little while. I've been reading this for I read this for like two months, started it in the beginning of October, and then finished it in like the middle of November. So let's talk about The Cousins by Karen McManus first. The Cousins wasn't my favorite book of hers. I did enjoy it. I think the biggest reason why I did not love it as much was because of the cover, and that's not really like her fault. The cover gives very much a thriller vibe of like suspense and mystery and intrigue and like someone's like gonna be running for their lives type of vibe and that is not what the book is. It's more of a cozy beach read mystery than it is a thriller. So if you were expecting thriller you're gonna be just a bit disappointed with this. Um, as the mystery though I really enjoyed it. So what is it about? We have three cousins, Millie, Aubrey, and Jonah's story. They never met each other before. Um, their parents were disinherited by their grandmother who was, was super rich, like one of the top 1% and owns her own like mansion on this island. And again, it does sound very like, ooh, thriller like what's gonna happen they get invited to this island and their parents hope that they can get back in their grandmother's um, or their mother's their the cousin's grandmother's good graces to believe really to be welcomed back in the family um, especially they've been estranged for such a long time so the cousins do that and then it becomes very just very like slow pace. It's like a nice slow burn. You have a lot of like reveals like laid down for you at the right time, but it was, and it was very fascinating book. Um, I did really enjoy it. I liked getting to know the characters. I liked getting to know some of their secrets, um, but it wasn't very much that high paced thriller that the cover kind of demonstrates, but it was still enjoyable. It was believable. It was fun. Um, I really did like that aspect of it. And there were moments where like my jaw just went, like what wait a second this so there are those moments in the book where you, there's like a little twist that's like whoa this is so cool like earth shattering twists but it wasn't like a high paced fast like let's figure out what's happening or like death and mayhem that the cover kind of hints at but I did really enjoy it. Karen McManus does a great job writing and creating very fun characters and believable characters. So I really love that aspect of it. So if you want like a cozier beach read, because it also is on the island, so there's a lot of beach vibes, this was a really fun read. The next book that I'm going to be showing you guys is oh, not a thriller. Oh my word, I've been reading so many thrillers that I didn't realize I was reading all these thrillers, but if you look back at 2021 uh, reading wrap-ups, half of them are th like 90% of them are thrillers. So this is not a thriller, this was a romance called The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. And this was like a very fun read for me and it was very cutesy and something completely different, not as complicated or like jaw dropping as thrillers, but just something a little bit lighter, fluffier, and also to deal with a little bit like Christmas to kind of get into the holiday spirit. Um, so this one is about Lila, who works at a themed gift shop in her town, Holly, New York, near the Finger Lakes. And their town is famous for this movie that was made in the 90s. And so everything is themed Christmassy and it's very cute. It's very fun. So she is a senior 
and she works part time at this gift shop and she really wants to have some more holiday hours. But then the owner's nephew comes to town from and he's a freshman at Syracuse. He comes to town and he steals her hours. Um, and they end up switching phones and then kind of getting to know each other through that. Um, so that's where the holiday switch part comes in is they swapped phones. Um, but she has a secret and she runs an anonymous blog that is like a book review blog. So like as someone who does that, that was kind of fascinating to see like how she rates books and what she like does or anything. I thought it was very cool. If you are a book blogger out there or vlogger or whatever, this does hit on that. And so she's that. So it's kind of like fun to like identify with like how she does that. And she always has these pros and cons lists that I think are so witty and cute. So she'll do like a pro, like if you really love book writing, holiday tropes, enemies to lovers and cutesy cheesy holiday jokes you'll love this one cons there really isn't a lot of depth and intrigue as um, a thriller was this is not like the like drama filled like big like huge mystery and intrigue with each other although the ending paragraph of the book blurb is um, when they accidentally switch phones one afternoon, they realize they've been hiding things from each other with our secrets and an unexpected snowstorm bring these rivals together. And it's kind of like, after reading thrillers, it's kind of, it, it's a bit of a letdown, like the secrets aspect of it. Um, but it was still very fun, very cute. And I am a fan. So if you want something lighthearted, easy read, fun, Gaining the Holiday Spirit, I really highly recommend The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. And those are all the books that I read in November. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys read any thrillers that you recommend, leave so down in the comments below. And if you have read any romances, YA romances recently, or even some like holiday themed books, I know with my students we're reading through A Christmas Carol, which I absolutely adore. So if you have any other holiday recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, please make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. It lets me know that you like videos like this one. And if you haven't already clicked subscribe, I release all new videos on all things writing and reading every Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep writing, keep reading, and stay creative. Bye!